Well, I am here at the Quilts Inc. headquarters with Amanda and Carmen from Special Exhibits. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. And uh, what are we going to be doing today? What would you like to, for everybody to learn from this video? A little bit more about how packing your quilt uh, can help us and help you. So over the course of the year, say for the Houston show, let's just talk about the Houston show. How many quilts are you opening and packing? Um, 1,000 to 1,500. Yes. Okay. So this is, it's pretty important that people pack mm -hmm. their quilts in a, in a Very good way. Okay. So go for it. Well, Carmen, I believe you have some examples of boxes that we have received yes. in the past. First, uh, let me put my cat down. <laughs> Here's one. We received it like this. This was damaged in transit. As you can see, someone tried to recycle and manufacture their own box. Yes, the tape did not work. It's a lot of tape, but... It didn't survive no, transit. No, we were no. very lucky to get the quilt in as good shape as we did. Here's a postal service one that we received. It arrived open. What we want to recommend is that yes, you do use tape and that you seal, you use the proper kind of tape and that you seal all of the entry points into the box. Okay, why is this cat on the table here? The cat's here because over the past years we have received a lot of quilts that have either lots of hair on them or sometimes are full of cigarette smoke. And we ask that you send your quilt clean to us because we want to not only protect your quilt but the other quilts that are being packed near your quilt. And so we just ask, keep your uh, felines away from your cat, and please try to smoke outside, not on nice. your quilt. Uh, one little helpful hint, people are always asking uh, about how to pack their quilts and what we recommend. We recommend that you fold them, or roll them if they need to be rolled, that you put some kind of stuffing to help protect the folds from becoming permanent creases. Then we recommend using tissue, or if you do not have tissue available, you could use um, muslin, or you could use a pillowcase that you don't mind possibly not being returned. And then we recommend that once your quilt is folded, that you put it in some form of plastic before you put it inside the box. And the reason we recommend the plastic is because sometimes, no matter how wonderful our uh, our postal service and other couriers are, boxes will get wet. And if you haven't protected your quilt that's inside with some form of plastic, um, your quilt could arrive uh, damaged. Um, we also recommend, as you can see what I've done with this box, is I've sealed with strong sturdy tape all along the edges. And once I've put the quilt inside, I'm going to do the same with these edges. Mm -hmm. Yes, make sure all edges are sealed, that there's nothing open. No creepy critters can get inside, no hanging edges for something to get caught on the edge and then mm -hmm. therefore rips. Yes. Do you recommend putting in a label of their, with their information inside the box? Yes. We highly recommend that you have a label on the quilt and also that you have something inside the box so that if, for example, you're using uh, a FedEx slip and the FedEx slip falls out, uh, then somebody eventually will open that box and there will still be information in there so that your yes. quilt can get back to you or to us. So have the um, mailing information not only outside of the box but inside of the box. And we also ask that on the outside of the box you don't put anything um, leading to what is in the box. Don't write that there's a quilt on the box. Don't write that you're sending it to Quilts Incorporated. Uh, we normally just say put our names and um, what exhibit it's for. What exhibit it's for, and then our mailing address. Try to leave off the quilt part. Protect yourself. Yes. And your quilt. Well, thank you. Is there any one last little tidbit, or is that everything? I think maybe the last thing is please don't use packing peanuts. They're just a big mess, and uh, <laughs> we hate them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's well, thank you. thank you, ladies.